Hey there, Gary Pearson, and welcome back to day four in my free video series on how to write a book ASAP. If you are just arriving and you haven't watched day one, two, and three, go back to day one. Here is day one. Okay, go back and watch day one. If you didn't watch day three yesterday, then go back and watch day three. Here is day three. So, today's video, day four, all about the dreaded subject of finding time to write because it's the biggest roadblock that I find. So, Let's get started. Welcome back to day four. My name is Garrett Pearson, author of How to Write a Book ASAP. So excited to talk about this subject today because it's the number one concern, challenge, roadblock, whatever you want to call it that I find with myself with my students that I coach and consult, with people that I've uh, talked to, other authors, finding time to write is always a problem. But it's only a problem because you don't know how to manage your time. Hey, that's really the only issue. We all have 24 hours in a day. But I understand that we're all busy. So in today's video, I'm going to give you an exercise to help you learn how to find more time in the day and make the time necessary to write because guess what? Writing takes time. There's, you can't get around it unless you hire somebody to write for you. But I'm guessing that's not what you want to do. Back five years ago when I wrote my first book, What Success Takes, I just had a new baby in my life. Okay, my wife had the baby. My beautiful wife, Lindsay, had our baby, Gracie. She's now almost five years old. But with that being said, she was a brand new baby, our first baby. I had just uh, resigned from my old biz job, I guess, and, and was just starting a new business. I was extremely, extremely busy, but I had the desire to write a book. So I created enough time in each day to write my book, and I did it in 30 days. Now, I'm not saying that you have to write your book in 30 days, but you're going to have to find the time to write your book each and every day, the days that you choose to write. So. We're all busy. We all have all these things that we have to do. So in that, today's exercise, what I want you to do is to create a T-chart, okay? A T-chart like this on a piece of paper or on your computer, wherever you want. On the left-hand side of the T-chart, write essential. On the right-hand side of the T-chart, write non-essential. Now what I want you to do is you need to deep, dig deep into your brain and think what you've done the last week, okay? Or an average week. What are the things that you do? Okay, now if you can't go back a whole week, go to your calendar or something, ask your significant other what you did, okay? And, or just go to yesterday. Hopefully you can go back that far. Now, on the essential side, start writing down those things that you do each and every day that are essential, okay? Going to work, creating your business, whatever it is, your family, providing for your family, helping your family grow. All the things that you do that are life and death are essential. All the essential things write down on the left-hand side. Now, be careful. Some of those things on the essential side might need to be moved over to the non-essential side. Okay, now on the right-hand side, start writing down all the non-essential things that you do. Okay, one of those things probably is TV or reading books, okay? because during the, your writing process, you need to be focused. So those are two things that aren't essential to your life. So write down all the non-essential things that you do throughout your week, throughout your day, in those 24 hours okay, that you do, that are all non-essential things that you can give up. Now, what you need to do is you need to give up a couple or all of those things in your non-essential list, because you need to have time to write your book. And what you'll find is you'll be surprised at how many non-essential things that you can give up for a certain amount of time, whatever amount of time that you want to write your book. Okay, I wrote my first book, What Success, or yeah, What Success Takes, in 30 days. Okay, I'm not saying you have to write your book in 30 days, but I had to be very particular in the amounts of time each day that I wrote. So all the non-essential things, okay, give up some of them, and you're going to have to in order to take the time and find the time necessary to write your book. Now that might not be something that you're excited about, and that's fine, but it's something that's essential. 
And over the next couple days, day five and day six, I'm going to be talking about creating a plan. So now that you know all your non-essential things, we're going to be talking about creating a plan to help you stay focused and stay motivated and find the time necessary and strategize your time so that you can write and finish your book in the time that you want to finish your book. So that's it for day four. Make sure you are doing these exercises. Make sure you're taking the time to follow these tips and strategies that I'm giving you because this is the blueprint that helped me write my first book and my, all my other books. And they're things that I've learned over time. So make sure you're doing these exercises. Thanks for being here. Leave a comment below, okay? And let me know some of the non-essential things that you are gonna get rid of. Share this with your friends. Tell other friends that you think might benefit from my videos that you think want to write a book. Share these videos with them. Okay, thanks for watching. I look forward to teaching you how to create a plan in tomorrow's video, day five.